What's up guys? This is another episode of Lucky Lou Fishing. I am not Lucky Lou, as you can probably tell. Apologize for that. Uh, he's at school today, but we had to take this opportunity to get out there. We we're gonna do a little two-part series. Um, we bought a new shack. We got the Eskimo 650 XD. It has uh, 94 square feet of fishable area. It's insulated, which we're super excited about. We think we'll keep it warmer, and that's really the main reason we're out here today. We're gonna test uh, out this shack. It is 11 degrees right now. Feels like minus three with the winds. Uh, it is snowing out. We've got about three inches of snow, and it's still coming down. Uh, so I'm gonna test dragging this thing out there. It weighs like 52 pounds, so I'm curious how manageable it is. But we'll give you a little review on it. And then uh, part two of this series is gonna be tomorrow. Our high for the day is minus five Fahrenheit. Um, I don't know what the winds are gonna be like, but I'm sure they'll be whipping a little bit. So it'll be quite cold. So I'm gonna come back out and set the shack up tomorrow and see how warm we can get it. So, and maybe if we get around to it along the way, we'll try and put a few fish on the ice for you. But uh, mostly this is a, a Eskimo 650 XD review. So. Give me a few minutes to get packed up and we'll see you out on the ice. second while I get the rest of this shack put together get these door posts in then we can get it all anchored down that went up super easy all right I'm just gonna zip the anchors in around and I'll get back in here set up and we'll get going with the tour all right boys and girls we are back. Get us some light. Welcome to the shack. This place is pretty awesome so far. First impressions. It pulled out on the sled way easier even through the snow than I thought it would at like 52 pounds. Um, it stayed on. Uh, I just had it set on top as I was pulling it and I uh, came down the hill and it pretty much stuck in place so I'm not too worried about it falling off and being a total hassle. Uh, it's set up super fast, almost as fast as just my normal 949 uh, fat fish from Eskimo and I mean this place is nice and spacious. I easily can fish four to five I'd say comfortably maybe a few more I think they say it's a five to seven uh, seven might be a little tight but uh, maybe so let me uh, give you a quick little tour here so we've got one two of the standard sort of triangular doors but one of the main selling points for me was this full walkthrough door really like that and as you can see i pulled my sled right through which is nice especially today i don't want to leave it outside with the wind and everything so i'll just you know since i'm just fishing by myself here plenty of room eight windows all the way around those windows are also uh they open they're velcro so if you extra air or you want to pass stuff in and out um gets really foggy hard to see the tip ups they open and it's got uh, one two Three big mesh pockets, uh, accessible from both sides for your gear, um, and a couple of vents. So we've got uh, the vent here, right? So we're running a propane heater and everything. You get good airflow. Second vent over there, and uh, seven feet tall. So I'm a uh, five eight, five eight and a half. I've got my head, my hands over my head. Um, 
I could just barely push up on it. So plenty of headroom for a smaller guy like me. And, and even if you're probably six feet tall, uh, I think you're good. So I put one strap on the outside. I'm kind of cold. I'm not going to go out there right now, but just, uh, it's, it's really windy. Even when I was setting it up, the, uh, this wall caved in on me with the wind. So I've got the support straps out there. It comes with three and then it needed six uh, stakes to get it in. So, um, so far, really liking it. Uh, as I mentioned, it's uh, 11 degrees outside, feels about minus three, and I'm already just sitting in here, just from the, building up some body heat and up the stand, or the, the shack, dragging the sled, I'm, I'm ready to take my coat off and I think I'm gonna be okay. So I'm gonna get the heater up and I'm gonna get, uh, set up in here get some cameras rolling underneath the water and we'll try and get you guys some fun. come on baby snap it snap it oh big pike come back for it Come on, come on baby, you got it. Oh, two pike, two pike. Take it, he's going for the dead stick. Come on, take that, take that. brought him in. That's for sure. That spoon was. Got him. Got him. Oh, he's a fatty. Oh, he not want to come up yet. Come on, buddy. Turn your head up the hole. Come on. Oh, he is now. He's angry. He is angry. There we go, boys and girls. Woo! Thirty one inches. It's a little big for pickling. Thirty one. Not a bad fish. Get him back down. And she's gone. Woo! All right, <clears throat> so quick recap here. I got out on the ice around 8.30, 8.45 this morning. Got this new Eskimo 650 XD shack set up with the insulation. I'm just running a little buddy heater. It is 10 degrees outside Fahrenheit. Winds coming out of the north northwest at 17 miles an hour, gusting upwards of 2025. And uh, I have a little thermometer in here, and we are registering uh, 35 degrees Fahrenheit. So I'm able to maintain, you know, 20, 25 degrees above outside temp. Uh, exclusive of the wind um, it says it feels like seven below Fahrenheit right now uh, with the wind chill so um, all in all pretty impressed I'm comfortable in here um, obviously I have the heater right near me um, 
it, you know, I thought maybe this would be able to fill the area, but I think with the wind, um, that's, that's a little tricky today. So, uh, tomorrow we'll come back out. It's going to be five degrees Fahrenheit below zero is our high. Um, so I'll come out tomorrow morning, uh, set the shack up. I'll bring, uh, my other big propane sunflower and we'll give it a go and see how we can do in those cold temps. I'm going to push the gear outside and I'll just show this coming down, see how easy it is to get back in the bag. And then we are off the ice till tomorrow and it is going to be ridiculously cold and we're going to try this again and see how warm we can stay. Size, but it's pretty tough to get back in so I'm just gonna get back to the truck here freezing and uh, take care of business there see you guys tomorrow